Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday morning, time for my weekend, what sold on eBay. I have a total of 16 items for a gross total of $1,200. So this is the second week in a row that I'm only grossing about 1000 This is coming off of like $2,000 weekend. So Q4, you need to pick up your game because... This is not how I expected Q4 to start out. So that's all right. Maybe people are, are gearing up for the spending. Um, I know there was some talk in my comments about the elections affecting it. And that very, mel very well may be. Uh, people are just kind of hesitant just to see what's going to happen after the elections. I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know what the reason is. But all I know is people are not buying like I expect for a Q4. So that's all right. $1,200 in one weekend is still amazing. Uh, I just put expectations on myself because I know I could do better. But when it's like this, I can't really control it. I've been listing. I'm buying the things that sell. Now it's just a matter of eBay doing its part and having buyers buy my stuff. I need to put that on silent. All right. So let's dive in to what sold this weekend. Okay, so we've got one item in particular that sold in a matter of 48 hours. I picked this up on Friday and it sold for over $300. I'm going to save that one to the end. So you're not going to want to miss it. But I'm going to start at the bottom of this list working with Sircom Cox Cable Wireless Home Security Camera. That's a mouthful. It's basically, it's a security camera to use with Cox Internet, um, also called Xfinity, it used to be called Comcast. Wherever you live, they call it something else. But here in Arizona, we call it Cox Internet. And these sold, it's one camera, grabbed it at a yard sale, right around $2. I don't think I paid more than that. Sold for $25 free shipping. But I'll be able to just stick a label right on this bad boy and send it off. So zero packing materials, easy to ship. Next item, I've had this one for a few months. Um, I thought it would sell a little bit quicker, and it hasn't. Um, but I only paid $3 for it. And this was at my local thrift. It is a coach bag. Legit coach. Um, it's got its little serial number doodad in here. Um, it's a zipper close. Super cute coach bag. So I don't know why it didn't sell for more. It ended up being part of my 15% off sale. So it sold for $27. I'm surprised for Coach that it only got $27. And I believe it was free shipping. So I'm just happy to get rid of it. Luckily, I only paid $3 for it. And it's going to a new home. All right. We've got another quick one. I grabbed this on Saturday at a community sale. Um, those are starting to pick up here. So our seasons are flipped from the rest of the country. We are just now, today is still like 95 degrees. I am back to sleeveless with shorts because it is stinking hot out there. I think we were 98 over the weekend and then tomorrow, 72. We get our glimpse of fall tomorrow. And then I'm sure we'll be back to the 80s and 90s next week. So either way, community sales are starting up again and that is my Super Bowl. That is the time. I love because sales are going and churches are getting back to their sales. This is our peak of sourcing season. So Jabra, Jabra, I don't know if I'm saying it right. It's a Bluetooth earpiece, talking piece, um, $3 at a yard sale and it sold for $28. And this one gets to just go into a poly mailer. Super easy to ship. Um, uh, the, I could do a padded poly or I can even do an unpadded poly because there's nothing breakable in there. Um, we've got a head cover. These are 30 cents at my local thrift store. So whenever I'm finding Ping, TaylorMade, Nike, um, un, oh, what's another brand? Any, uh, Callaway. I think I covered them. The top brands of golf. People need head covers for them. So this one is the ladies series called Serene. And of course, if you can find the golf clubs, grab them. This is just the head cover. I paid 30 cents and it sold for $30. Again, with the, the poly mailers. This is not breakable. So it's going to just go right into a mailer with a label on it. So easy to ship. I love the easy, easy shipping items. Um, we've got a Toshiba 
external hard drive. This was a $5 bins find. So this is the first item so far from the bins. And when I'm referring to the bins, it is my Amazon liquidation style store. They have zero affiliate to Amazon, but they just buy pallets of returns, third party, to sell them in, pal in bins at a set price. So this one happened to be on $5 day, and it sold within within a week. I think I got it last week um, for $32. Five into 30, I'll take it. And it's just an external hard drive, one terabyte. Uh, we've got a camera. This was a state or garage sale. Most likely a state. Um, what did I pay for this guy? Olympus was $5 and it sold for 25. Not a great flip, but when you can get these point and shoot cameras as cheap as you can, um, and I said new battery. I keep batteries on hand. A six pack of these CR123s is like five bucks on Amazon. So I always have these on hand because you can usually add between five or ten dollars each camera by saying it has a new battery in there. Uh, sometimes I'll find them at the bins and I'll grab them, but otherwise it's worth investing the five or ten dollars on Amazon and putting it into your cameras because it'll also make sure that that camera sells that much faster um, because it has a new battery. So this one is tested, loaded, and ready to ship. All right. It also, it kind of stuck a little when you're going to open it. It's a little stiff. So I put that in the listing. I think that's also affected the price of it a little bit. Um, We've got a moist heat, deep penetrating neck wrap. Uh, this is a bins find for, what did I pay for you? $5. It was probably the same day as that Toshiba. Uh, paid five, sold for 35. Yes. Not much to say about that one. Okay, we've got a Brother Ink bins. Anytime I can find ink toners there that are brand new sealed, I grab them. They're not huge money makers, but they're consistent money makers. So, yes, I'm paying $15 for it, and it sold for $40 free shipping. But I'm going to put this in one of my 24 by 24 flat uh, poly mailers because sometimes they'll tell you in the listing if they're a drop shipper, so you know that they want it in a box, make sure it doesn't get destroyed, whatever. This one was actually shipped originally just with the label on it. So that is in the picture. They know it is not a pristine box, um, but I will still protect it by putting it into a poly mailer. Um, so yeah, it sold for $40. No, those aren't the hugest margins. When I'm spending $15 minus free shipping, I'm making probably $15 bucks on it. But they're consistent, and that's why I will still always grab them, even when they're only a $40 to $50 ink toner. We've got some staples. This one's a fun one, just because it's weird. So this one was at my local thrift. I want to make sure this is the correct one. Is this the open one? Yeah. So uh, at my local thrift, and I paid five, yeah, five dollars for them. But they are, they're staples to go to, I don't even know, some kind of staple gun. I don't know. I don't know. They had the actual staple gun there, and it wasn't worth grabbing. It was only worth like 20 bucks. But the refill staples, it's where the money was, and this guy sold for $45. And same way as Amazon shipped it, or even this company, this wasn't Amazon. This was something home center. So wherever they bought these from, they just stuck a label on it, rinse and repeat. I'm just going to put a label on it. There's no reason to box in a box when they are staples. There's nothing breakable in here. Uh, that's just going to get a label right on his box. Okay, this one is another bins find. So you'll see bins are not my only way of sourcing. I have my thrift stores. I've got estate and garage sales. I've got, yeah, lots of ways of sourcing inventory. So yes, I do get a good chunk from my bins, and I understand that I am definitely blessed with the style of bins that I have, that they're not cherry-picking too much of the high-end stuff, and we still have a chance of getting it. Um... Because I know in other parts of the country and even other parts of the state, they pull the good stuff out. And so people that will comment on my videos saying, why is yours so good? And honestly, it's just the nature of the business. If they end up realizing they can make more money themselves, 
they're going to do it. And it, I don't know why this company does it, or if they do, they're just pulling like the ridiculously high end stuff, leaving the $400, $300 items for us. It, it's just each business to themselves, however they want to do run their business. And I'm just very grateful that mine hasn't done that yet, but I continue to tell myself that it is a limited time because I don't want to get to the point that I am only relying on these bins for my inventory. I have to keep my other skills primed and hot because if this bins either A, closes, that's always possible. There was a month that they didn't pay the rent and they locked the doors. So, I mean, that can happen. So if this business completely closes or they change their business model or they raise the prices or whatever the zillions of reasons could be, I don't want to be up creek without another way of sourcing. So I highly encourage multiple ways of getting your inventory. The only one that I don't do is online sourcing. I like to go out and shop. So that is the best part of reselling is the shopping. So to go on to eBay and try and source or go on to Amazon and try and source, that does not bring me any joy. So if I had to, sure, I can go on whatnot and go on other platforms and find inventory, but it's just not fun. So, all right, point being, diversify how you source your items. All right, so this one is a bins. These were $5 each and they are fleet filters to a Cummins... Isn't that like a, a big truck? Yeah. I have no idea. It's a filter, an oil filter to a big truck. And there's two of them. So I lotted them together and it sold for $55. So I paid $10, sold for $55. Uh, this next one is a fun one. I keep saying that. I know they're not all fun, but they're fun to me. I need more space. Okay. This is ugh, a neat printer. This is actually one of the newer versions where they actually, like, you can load all your documents to the cloud. I don't know if I would do that because you're using a scanner usually for, like, tax documents, and I don't want to put that stuff up on a cloud. But I found this at a yard sale for $5. $5. So when I started getting offers on this item, I was okay accepting it because I know how cheap I got it. So $5, and I took an offer of 70 bucks. Um, that one will have to go box in a box, and that's fine because I've got boxes. So, 70 bucks for a desktop scanner. We've got something that I can't find. All right, we'll just have to put it up on the screen. I don't think he pulled it. Um, it is a cold steel carve folding knife. Um, bins, $8 is what I paid for it, and it's just, it's a pocket knife. Um, sold for $80. It was, I did take an offer. I think it was part of the sale, but I took an offer on it. I, again, I've had it for a while. It wasn't moving. I need to boost more sales. And we all know selling more stuff will result in more sales. I've been getting a lot of offers and I think that's really hurting the algorithm this weekend on why I didn't get as many sales because I'm declining ridiculous offers. When they're 80% off of the item, I'll play their game and counter offer once, but then when they come back with like 79% off, no, just decline. Leave me alone. I'm not going to go that low. So by doing that game, I think it does hurt my sales. Um, so I do want to accept offers that I feel is reasonable. And that's usually about 15 to 20% off when I've had it for a while. If it's a brand new item, I'm not going 15 to 20% off. It's You get like five bucks off to help you pay for shipping and that's about it. But when it's an older item, I've had this one for at least a month or more. Uh, I'm okay taking a 20% off sale. All right, that's my my thought process. Uh, next up is a combo player. Are you combo or are you just VCR? It is just a VCR. Um, I think that's the one I got at the thrift store like two weeks, no, two months ago when I was walking in the garage and I don't think I filmed it and then I turned around and started filming all right, I think it was that sale. So it was like five or ten dollars, and it sold for eighty-five bucks for an old VCR. Um, it had the remote, it had the cables, it had the manual. So it definitely was an intriguing offer. Um, looks like it's going to a drop ship drop shipper um, because they always put the note, "This is a gift." It's not a gift. We all know it's not a gift. So I mean, maybe it is. Maybe they're the one percent. But 99% of the time, when they say this is a gift, do not include invoices, is when they sold it on Amazon and need to be shipped that way. 
So basically a drop shipper is somebody who does their sourcing at home. They'll have a listing up on Amazon where they can sell it for more. And then when their item sells, they buy it on eBay and ship it directly to that buyer. So they're in the middle doing the, the back and forth, but they never actually touch the inventory. Um, not my model. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm fine selling to drop shippers because, I mean, a sale is a sale. But would that ever be my model? No. Again, with boring. I don't want to sit at home and just order stuff online being the middleman. I don't know. To each their own. But that sold for $85. All right. Now we're getting to some juicy stuff. This is a quick one. This was also on Friday. Bins, $15 day. Um, it's a Michael Todd shaver. And I get these. We've gotten these quite a bit. I think I've sold at least six or seven of them over the year. And this is the Pro Plus model. So I guess it does more stuff. I don't know. I guess it's a shaver. It can only shave so many ways. Uh, but it does come with a lot more of the blades. So that could be why it's the Pro. I don't know. But it sold for 100 bucks plus shipping. Yeah, I think it's plus shipping. So um, unless they had $20 in tax, which I guess is possible. But um, yeah, brand new. Still factory sealed. $100. Thrilled. Oh, there's the knife. It was hiding underneath. All right. So this was that pocket knife. Carve. Okay. Um, we've got some shoes at the bottom of the pile. All right. These are Doc Martens, and they were from my boot dealer. I haven't talked about him in a long time because none of his stuff is selling. So I stopped dealing with him. I was buying, if you've been following me, a probably... It's probably been a solid year now since I've met with him. Uh, it was basically a gentleman that lived in the same town as me, and he had a lot of really high-end, nice stuff. He had name-brand boots. He had name-brand denim wear. Like, I was getting all these True Religion brand new, um, Levi's brand new, just really, really nice stuff. Jackets and shoes and so much stuff. Um, cowboy boots. That's why I called him the boot dealer, because I started out getting boots from him. Um, but quickly he started upping his prices. When I first met him, we were like, okay, if it's new in the box, it's $30. If it's no box, it's $20 on um, jeans or $10. We kind of had a set price. But then as the months went on and I'd meet him the month after and the month after that, he's like, oh no, my boots are now $80 and the shoes are going to be $60. And it just got, I don't know if greed is the way, but he knew I was a reseller and he was fine with that. Um, but I think he realized that he was leaving a lot of money on the table. So I haven't met with him in a while for that reason because I still have a lot of his inventory and it's not moving. So I'm having to keep the prices still high because I was still buying some at the $80 to $100 each. So these ones, I believe, were in the $30 batch when I first started meeting with him. Um, but yeah, I've still got some Timberlands. I've got Dan Post boots, Converse Durango boots, Ariat boots. I've just got a stack right here next to the camera of his stuff that hasn't moved. Um, so either way, I'm glad that I had that relationship, but I'm also glad to have other ways of sourcing because that was not going to be sustainable long term. Um, so yeah, Doc Martens, brand new, brand spanking new, in their box, um, sold for $100. So someone got a crazy, crazy good deal. All right, then last but not least is that $300 item, my friends, and this was one that I found on Friday, uh, $15, did I say that? I don't remember. Heavy. It is a Tesla freaking wall charger. Wow, I know. So... It was in the pictures, my friends. It was in their little preview pictures. I'm like, okay, it's Tesla. I couldn't tell from the picture, like, what exactly it was. But I'm like, all right, I know it's a Tesla something. And sure enough, it was the wall, wall connector. Uh, oh, see if I can show this up on the screen without messing myself up. So we opened it up, and it's brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. Uh, I lifted up the top piece, and you can see that it still has all the factory stuff around it. Uh, maybe someone bought a Tesla and returned it. I don't know, or not returned it. I guess you can't really return a car. Uh, maybe they realized it didn't work with their home. I don't know, but it was an Amazon return and I am thrilled. So I paid 15, I took an offer. I was getting ridiculous offers on it. 
Uh, but one person, let me know in the comments if anyone's done this and if you've done it. Uh, someone commented and wanted the, the charger saying that he will provide the label for it because I have it listed as free shipping. So like, oh, I'll send you the label and that's going to save you your money. Would you take it for 300 And I listed it for 350 So I write back to him. I said, I'm something of this cost, I have to keep it inside eBay. I need to have the seller protection of shipping this item, having it tracked through eBay, having eBay actually insure the item or the post office insure the item if it gets lost. There's way too many variables to not have my own shipping. Um, and that biggest one is eBay will not protect the seller if they say, oh, I didn't get it. I, I don't have a leg to stand on. I, I literally cannot say anything if they say they don't get it because it wasn't my label. It wasn't generated inside eBay. It's very, very risky. If this was like a $30 item, sure. I mean, if I lose money, I lose money. It's 30 bucks. 300, I want my protection, 100%. So uh, I don't think this was the same person. So it came in at 320 is what they offered. Free shipping, yes, but luckily they're in California. So it does not have very far to go. Um, I may have to box in a box it just because this box is so, um, it's pretty rough shape. So I don't want to just tape it up again. I'm going to actually stick it into another box. Uh, but with FedEx or UPS, it shouldn't be more than 20, 25 bucks to ship it. And I paid $15. Wow. So that wraps up 1200 items for, nope, not 1200 items, <laughs> 16 items for $1,200. Uh, and a couple things I wanted to tell you guys about, if you haven't already, in the description, I've got two things you're going to want to check out. One of them is my Bolo list. It is free, yours to download, top brands, top items to source for your eBay business. And the second thing is my new desert dashboard. It is an all-in-one reseller tool to keep track of your inventory, your sales, gives you monthly reports, your mileage, all of it all in one spreadsheet. It is a game changer. It is through Google Docs. So anywhere that you have Google on your phone, on your computer, you can access your spreadsheet. It has completely changed my life. So many people have asked me, Jennifer, what spreadsheet do you use? What do you do to keep track of your inventory? And it is the Desert Dashboard. In the description, use code DESERT10 and you get 10% off. No, you don't. You get $10 off of the spreadsheet. So that wraps it up, you guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful week, a safe, safe, Halloween. That's coming up this Thursday. So have fun. Be safe. Don't eat too much candy is what I'm telling my kids, but yeah, right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and have a fabulous day. Take care.